Welcome back to Vlogmas. We get started. I haven't opened the advent calendar in a hot minute. I don't know what number we stopped at, but yeah, let's open that first and then start the vlog. I can't remember which what was the last number we stopped at. So uh I'm seeing 15, 16, 17. Okay. So and this vlog is the 21. Oh, by the way guys these are the earrings from Sulit, the jumbo one they're so cute it's not jumbo but it's really cute and nice today dean and i and his dad we're going to buy some fresh goat meat on the link up yeah so just gonna get some fresh goat meat for christmas and come back home we have work going on still i would do like a separate video and show you guys how everything is coming along with the decking area that we're casting so this one is calm me so that if you're hearing any background noises again as i said with all, all my vlogs if you watch my vlogs you'll know we have construction and we have workers today so so that's 18 19 guys i've been slacking on my tees this is shape me uh, 19 there's 20 um where is 20 <laughs> oh 20 20 this one is b it. oh my god this is the curry one we got the curry today oh so this one is beetroot ginger and curry leaves. I don't know if you guys could see that. Ugh. It smells nasty. <laughs> and uh, 21. I can't look for this one. I am drunk. Oh. 21 this one is oh, seasonal siesta that's it that's basically the plans for today we're gonna get some fresh goat meat so i will see you guys when i am back home get some goat on the link up and we always buy goat from Ravi and Sally so if you guys ever looking for really good fresh goat meat definitely check out Ravi and Sally's on the link up yeah I never really used to eat goat it's only recently I started to eat goat and when we come to buy goat my father-in-law always say you know look for the pinkish meat like make sure the goat meat is like pink or light pink because uh, that's when you know the goat is like a good soft young goat and sometimes the meat according to Ravi which is Sally's husband 
he said usually sometimes the meat just be like real red but it still be soft and you know it's not like grandfather goat if you're ever looking for good goat meat definitely check out sally and rabi on the link up this is not sponsor guys they will hook you up like legit they will hook you up uh yeah so it's rainy i was outside came back in the van because it's raining right now and by the way goats is like 60 dollars a pong and we bought 25 pounds of goat meat which is basically a whole goat um yes yeah, so we just waiting for them to cut it up and yeah that's about it guys so i will see you guys in a little bit six and a half hours guys so my nail ended up breaking and as you can see here all this area is like raw and oh my gosh it hurts like a wish so i don't know what the hell i'm gonna do i have to wait to get a new nail put on because this is still so tender and soft so yeah as you could see underneath there how it's red that's where it break from this shit hurts more than a mother effing heartbreak like oh my gosh yeah guys what the hell is this this hurts so bad So for dinner, I bought a rotisserie chicken from GTA. It's looking kind of burnt here, but believe it or not, I love my chicken when it's like more on the burnt side, kind of like this. So uh, yeah, rotisserie chicken, and I made some mashed potatoes. That's what we're having for dinner tonight. Starbucks. This is a. Uh, I'm having some Starbucks. This is the. It's the caramel frap. No, I wanted the hazelnut latte, but they they were out of the hazelnut syrup, so they give me toffee nut instead. So I kind of remember what the hell this really was, but they had mixed up the drink, they had given me the frap, and I told them, I was like, no, well, I ordered the latte, so I had to wait for it, and I had to pay two dollars extra. But anyways, I can't remember what the, hell, what the hell this is, but to be honest, it's not tasting quite great, it just tastes like milk, it's toffee, not syrup, so. 
and Starbucks wasn't even busy. The drive through was just us, so I don't know what happened there. Maybe the barista is having a bad day or something. So, yeah, guys, um, I'm back home. I just changed my dress and put on this t shirt. And uh, Dana and I we stopped in a grocery to get some beers. I saw they had the vanilla coke, so I bought one. I never had Dr. Pepper and I never had um a root beer so so i watch shane dawson all the time like any one of his conspiracy theories video always saw him drink this brand i could be wrong but i never had a root beer so i would really love to taste this this is the vanilla coke got a dr pepper i never had none of this stuff so i wanted to try it and see how it goes and so i don't know when the taste test will be coming because i legit haven't tasted the purple, the Cheerios, none of those things. Like, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So the purple and the sweet mango is sealed. It's still here. Haven't tried that. Um, yeah, so like, I have to be in a mood to do taste tests. And like, I legit don't be in a mood. Like, I, like, I was actually feeling for Starbucks and that's how we went to get it. Like the rituals, I haven't tried it as yet. Like, I don't know. I really don't know but anyways I'm gonna do some painting I want to show you guys how far I reached so this is how far <laughs> this is how far I reached on the painting so I'm gonna do some painting enjoy my Starbucks and listen to all the construction and all the noises that's going on thank you guys so much for joining me on today's video and i'll catch you guys in my next video don't forget to stay safe stay blessed bye guys